Talk about what you did, not what you're gonna do. studio and they were considering my work for a show but it wasn't a sure thing and he said uh, why would you handicap yourself in such a way John there are many easier ways to make art than the way I've chosen to do it everyone wants to describe my work that I'm obsessive compulsive and that's why I sit and put little dots of ink on paper it has nothing to do with that at all it's just about dedication and discipline and perseverance and, and persistence. You know, you know that you're just doing something that's unique, that no one else does. That's what's always kept me going. No one else does what I do. And then everyone says, well, no one's crazy like you, John. But I'm not crazy. It's just, it's just something that's inside of me. For the last eight years, I've been dealing with the glaucoma, so I've had to even be more disciplined and, and more dedicated to what I'm doing because in case I really do run out of time, with I'm down to one eye, so that's my motivation now. I got to get it done because I get, to, I get to do it. Yeah, you know, for me, what, I guess what gets me up in the morning is uh, the freedom to create. language only has so many words and a poem is basically combining them shaping them with a, with a with an agenda or a point or a metaphor something attached well you know the world of food is is, is not dissimilar because you only have so many ingredients and techniques and influences and time of year so the kind of composition you know not that I'm some brilliant poet or a chef but like that's I use the same parts in my left brain right brain you know I think that it's important to have like the craftsmanship to know how to handle something but the creativity what well, at least what stimulates me is the comes from the same part that I, that I found in poetry. There's so much insecurity, you kind of have to find, again, the middle ground. And for me, it's about not believing the best or the worst things, you know, because people have told me, like, oh, you know, I hate this, like, it sucks. People say, wow, best chef ever, I love it, this is the you know, most amazing meal you ever have in your life. And neither one is true, you know, I think that somewhere in the middle is, the, is that, again, like, the, you know, the nut you're working for. It's like, you know, you have to, you have to be proud of your work and not jeopardize it to where you're gonna, you know, be living a lie. But you also want to make sure that you're, you're, uh, you know, staying current and relevant and doing your best work. So it's good to have competition. It's good to have transparency and be held accountable. But sometimes it can be, um, it can mess with your psyche. So I, I've always, like, I think, just as a young man, I, I associated the better the food, the better the quality of life. Creating is the only reason that people have a sense of self, a sense of purpose outside of their standard, you know, requirements of life. Each day is an open slate for you as an artist. Yeah, we all have duties, we all have to go to work, but I feel most alive in the morning when I have that, you know, hour or two, wake up extra early and do the, the creative things that I want to do. With this new project, with Set in Stone, I have a lot of insecurities about it, and partially it's because I initially was the one 
you know, pushing songs on people and being like, here's the songs, try to learn them. And it's kind of like, you're coming into my mind state. The insecurity comes in when it's like, you have four other people involved in this and you know, you, you want it to be organic and it grows into this thing that wasn't necessarily just my head or whatever, my instruments. When you have to let go and know that you you know you're not going to be, you can't have four of your yourself doing things. It's like, what's the point of that? That's not a band. It feels like you're one part of something that's bigger than you. I worked for it. I don't know if I deserved it. You know what I mean? Like it's just a, something I wanted. Yeah, I'm very lucky. I keep saying that, but it's true. You know, I want to overwhelm people with like new experiences that that they take a risk, and then we, you know, uh, we give them we give them the satisfaction of, of joy. There's awe in those moments, and there's you like feel it in your spine. You'd be like <laughs> a little shiver. There's a lot of people that can do um, um, all kinds of artistic things, but you have to have something inside of you to end up with a career in art or a life of art. So in that moment though, anything could happen. Life is going to constantly change. You know, the, 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 tar the target's always moving. Like, don't get discouraged because of one or two setbacks. Change is good. Embrace the change, you know, lean into it, and, you know, allow your voice to find itself. Just so that's that person's thumbprint, you know, on, on the world. Like, maybe look at a writer, look at, you know, artists, look at musician. Hone your crafts, but don't be afraid to learn the next one. If you're good at one thing, you have to be better at it than anyone's been before and push it farther. You know, like, don't, don't talk about your ideas when they don't have a place at the table. You know, wait, keep your cards close to your chest. You know, I'm here in film school, so I mean, if you're in film school talking about your great, you know, film that you're going to make one day, like, I mean, it's kind of important, but also nobody cares. Because there's probably a million films that are never even made. So, like, you know, and there's a lot of junk that hits the, hits the big screen. So, like, you know, it doesn't really matter. Keep that to yourself. Talk about what you did, not what you're gonna do. Oh yeah, go do it. I mean that's a, that's a, that's like that's a given.